Hello, this is Josh with Core Reserve, and this video is going to go over how members can use the My Organizations feature in order to access multiple organizations under one login. First, I will be going over the desktop view, and then I'll move on over to the mobile app view, just so you can take a look at how the My Organizations feature works from both views. On desktop, We'll want to start off by hovering over our name in the top right corner. And then from here, there's going to be a My Organization section. And from here, you will be able to view all of the different organizations you're already a part of. And then on the bottom of this section right here, there's going to be an Add Organization button. In some organizations, you may not have your name in the top right corner. You may have a button here that will open a sidebar menu. Regardless of how the layout is, you're going to see all of these same options here. So regardless of that view, you'll want to find my organizations. And then from here, we can go to the add organization page. Once you get to this page, there's going to be a search bar where you can search for the organization that you are looking for. And then once you find the organization that you are looking for, we can select that organization. And then once you hit this join button, you are going to be taken to a sign up form for this new organization. On this sign up form, since we already have information like first name, last name, email address, we are not going to see those fields on this sign up form. Really, all that we're going to see here are any required fields that they have that are required for you to fill in in order to create your member account. So I will fill out this information really quick, and then I will go back over to the member portal homepage. All right, and I just filled out the signup form, saved that signup form, and now I have an account at the second organization. So if I go back over to the menu under my name, and I go to the My Organizations page, now we can see both organizations here, and you'll notice that there is a primary icon. The primary organization is going to be that organization that you sign into, that you log into by default. So if there's one organization that you go to a lot more frequently than other organizations, and you want to make a specific organization your primary one, we can go to the Edit My Organizations page. And for any organization, that is not your current primary organization, you are going to see a make primary button here. And this would be how you switch a specific organization to becoming your primary organization. There's also going to be this delete button here. And if you need to hide any organizations from this page or from the My Organizations menu right here, we can click this delete icon. Uh, there is a little pop up here that will tell you that this is only going to hide the organization from your list. This is not going to cancel your membership or delete your member account. If you want to fully delete your member account, that will need to be done on the admin side. So you would have to reach out to a staff member at that organization in order to fully delete your account. Really, all this button is going to do is just hide this organization from your list. So now I'll have that second organization hidden from my My Organizations menu. And there is a button to view these hidden organizations. So if you need to just add it back to your list, maybe you accidentally hid an organization, we can always click the View Hidden Organizations button and add that organization back to your list. So that goes over the desktop view. Now I'm going to jump over to the mobile app view and I'll show you how my organizations works from the mobile app side. All right, so now I'll be going over how the my organizations feature works on the mobile app. So from here, if you have more than one organization already in your account, there is going to be a my organizations button on the home page just so that members that are already under more than one organization can quickly toggle back and forth between them. But if a member does not have more than one organization in their account yet, they can go over to the more button. 
And under the more button, there is going to be the my organizations page. And from here, we're going to have those same options that we had on desktop. So if we need to add an organization, there's the add organization button. If we need to edit our organizations, we can do that from here as well. And we can change primaries. We can hide from the list from the mobile app as well. Uh, but again, once a member has more than one organization under their account, they're going to see the My Organizations option on the homepage so that they can toggle back and forth between them. All right, and that goes over the My Organizations page. If you are a member and you have any questions on this, you can always reach out to a staff member or an admin at your facility. If you are an admin that has any questions on this, you can always reach out to our live chat support team. That's going to be the green button in the top right corner, and they'll be happy to answer any questions that you have.